So we'll start with the outside first, some of the major differences. You've obviously got the 19-inch um, diamond cut um, alloys, so the S-Line only comes with 18-inch, these are 19-bit uh, bigger. All the additional ones come with um, now a black styling pack. So blacked out mirrors, blacked out window trim, blacked out area on the top, blacked out grill here. So on the S-Line it's um, light grey. Um, but on the edition one, it's, it's properly blacked out. Same with the uh, bumper accents and the vents going on there. As standard, it comes with the um, new Audi Matrix. Um, essentially, rather than just have your bog standard LEDs, um, these are Matrix style, so they adapt as you're driving on the road as well. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be visible. It's more for driving and a comfort thing. And to be honest, unless you've driven the S-Line and the edition one back to back, I'm not sure if you'd actually uh, notices but um, the addition one does have a sports suspension so it's supposed to um, have uh, adaptive dampers um, so that it adjusts it on the fly to give you a more comforting ride and it's also 15 millimeters um, lower so a little bit um, lower ride height that's pretty much the exterior of differences covered off let's have a look inside um, and, and see what the difference is you've got um, the virtual cockpit plus which is actually a slightly larger display so it's 12 inches um, side to side on the s line it um, sits in a little further and ends there and it has a physical um, petrol gauge and i think a coolant um, temperature gauge there you've then got the flat bottom steering wheel um, which is actually available on the um, s line as an upgrade i think it costs about 115 pounds looking at the seats then you've got the alcantara nice sporty um, seats really hugging um, got the um, obviously the Alcantara um, material cross stitching nice rhombus effect um, they're actually um, electric seats so somebody pointed out actually in the last video um, how comes this being an edition one um, still had manual levers so it's actually because on a edition one if it's a petrol um, S-Tronic it comes with uh, the mild hybrid um, uh, additional battery uh, which is really used to help the car coast so because of that Audi weren't able to um, fit the full electronic seats in here because the, and there's some sort of disruption between um, the voltages so if you have a normal edition one that's not petrol and S-Tronic you will get um, fully electric seats in terms of going backwards and forwards for both the um, driver side and the passenger side you've then got coming over here um, heated seats so these are obviously available on the um, s line as well as part of the comfort and sound pack um, but the comfort and sound pack on the s line is i think 1195 um, on the edition one it's a little bit cheaper around 800 pounds that being because you already get the heated seats and then you get this ambient lighting um, pack here so i'll throw in a clip to show you what this looks like at night but um, essentially it's really nice um, Obviously, in the door cards, you've got the Alcantara as well. And, yeah, that, that's, um, that, that's pretty much it, actually, um, in terms of what you get as part of the um, base um, S-Line versus the Edition 1. Something now that was asked... Um, something that was asked literally a few minutes ago by one of the um, subscribers was, what's the legroom like in the back of the car? So, here I am just sitting in the back. Um, so, I'm... 5'8", five 5'8 eight, five eight and a half, and, uh, depending what day of the week it is. But what you can see here is there's quite a bit of leg room. So obviously the driver's seat was set to um, my, uh, how far back I wanted it. I would honestly say, um, you can see here, there's still quite a bit of leg room. You could probably fit two fully grown adults in the back um, and still fit somebody in the middle. Um, and yeah, it might not be that great for long journeys, but uh, certainly uh, short journeys, five people comfortably. And to be honest, it's, it's, it's pretty misleading um, because you've also got the windows um, and the low roof line, which makes it seem smaller, but there's actually a lot of space here. So that pretty much um, brings us to the end of what we wanted to talk about. We've obviously just focused on this video on the um, specifics that we had um, in, well, that are included as part of the Edition 1 versus the S-Line. But we did obviously go and get a few more extras like the panoramic roof, the lane assist and mirrors. Um, I'm trying to think, the wireless charging storage box and I think we even went for the spare wheel. So we'll cover those off in a later video if you guys want to see that. In fact, if you do want to see um, the optional extras, please leave a comment down below and then we'll get that stuff filmed as well. 
but now for the next part of the video just before wrapping up i'll cover off um, the differences between the s line and the edition one from a finance perspective um, and work out how much these extras actually cost and what you're better off buying and let's run you through a bit of the numbers um, so you can help make up your own mind from our opinion obviously having gone for the edition one it was a really worthwhile thing to do but Looking at the base price alone, um, it starts off as a um, difference of £3,100. Um, and what you need to remember is that £3,100, that's a basic edition one against a basic um, S-Line. By the time you actually spec your S-Line up, realistically you'll be going for the comfort and sound upgrade, which is £1,195. If you went for that same upgrade on the edition one, it's £865. So you're already saving a bit of money um, because if you remember, I mentioned that you get the um, heated seats. Then you don't get the matrix lights. If you wanted to spec those up on the S line, it's an additional £675. On the edition one, it's actually for free or included in the base price. Um, you don't get any of the lumbar support controls that I showed. Um, they're actually on that side. Um, that's an additional £260. Again, in the edition one, um, it's included for the price. Now, this steering wheel, the flat bottom, um, depends whether you like it or not. It's an additional £115 if you had an S-Line. Again, included. And then the ambient lighting pack, which um, you can you can upgrade is an additional £115 if you're in the S-Line and included um, as normal here. What you need you then, if you add all of those up, there's actually only a £1,000 difference between an Edition 1 and a um, S-Line. So if you went for like for like spec, you're looking at a £1,000 difference. Now let's focus on, on the bit that is probably most important to you guys. What do you actually get for that slight difference in money? Um, so you obviously get the 19 inch diamond cut um, alloys on the outside, which you can't have on the S line. You get the virtual cockpit plus again, which you can't have on the S line. You get the black styling pack, um, Alicantra seats, um, electric, if you're obviously not using um, a petrol version. And then you've got the um, sports suspension as well. So the um, adaptive dampening um, and the 15 millimeter um, lower ride height. So that to me guys is quite a lot of car for an additional thousand pounds by the time you've already spec'd up that S line. And hopefully you can see from that is it's a worthwhile upgrade, but let me know what you thought about this kind of video. Uh, has it helped at all show you what the differences are? Do you understand it a bit better? Um, what other things would you like us to cover? So make sure you leave a comment um, down below like the video that really helps us out. So that's it for this one. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.